to a shout of men that have laughed. The only place you can experience silence and quietness is mortuary burial ground. The Bible says, let the living make what? If you know you don't have grave, that there is no visible grave for you on this earth. Come on, celebrate the Lord. Hallelujah. Church. Church. Listen. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Listen. I don't have voice today. The only voice I have on earth is with me. So, the, the voice I borrow you know what I've been using to you? What I've been using is a borrowed voice. The owner of the voice is a Like we are, and there are men that are called. 
So when a prophet, a pastor, see a God, won't he honor himself? Where is, where is revelation after God? What do you want to prophesy? You want to bite your tongue? Excuse me, there are many on earth. It's not just to meet them, but to recognize who they are. I said, I said something here in this altar. I said, Abraham and Sarah would have been buried on earth. Even God would have not been able to do it. If not that they recognize those men and not that these men. Are the guy, they are the God we are looking for them. He said, he immediately saw them. He said, I've seen the God. Listen, there are what prayer and fasting for 100 days will not do. Listen, every prayer you are praying, a man is wearing the face of that answer. Oh, the only prayer we pray for Zion today. He so that when you see the face of your God, because there are what you will miss this night, you will miss it this year. If you are learning it and pass you, even me, I'm looking for. How can you look for in the pocket of a man that is looking for? Whatever I collect today, I will be stingy. Ha! Excuse me, church. I said I borrowed voice. The only of the voice is with me. I take a face to come to you. And you believed me. The only of the face is around. Church, please listen. Standing, standing up to invite my father is a ghost of me. Church Lily Dan is an illumination even in the face of God. So if the earth will open for me to enter, so that the earth refuse, I will go below. This night cannot pass me by. It's my night of church. Church as we are lying down. Ah, ah, I join voice with the voice of the whole Zion to invite, to wake up, no any other person, but a man that carried the face of God on earth, the man that carried the mandate of the God of life and immortality, I welcome, no any other person, my father, our father, reverend, is a shepherd, is a God, Christ come and shout Shout Shout, 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 shout Shout, 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 shout One 
church like Zion. Some of my sons envy him. (laughs) 
there are some of them I say, follow me to worry. Some of them I say, let's go to worry. <laughs> you know, we just have this night and uh, tomorrow morning. So the time is just very short. Very, very short. There is something I was saying about two types of fatherhood. Sometimes your biological father can still be ideological. But what is important is... Is he the father of your destiny? Life and immortality is the greatest and the last covenant. It makes it an angry when we say we, we can't die. It makes him very angry. The truth is that if you can't die, you cannot reduce in value. If anybody can die, nothing dies around him. Because you are the owner of your destiny. Your confession is your life. Hear me, nobody can force you to die. Because your life is already your life. Can somebody say, my life is my life. Nobody can take it from you. Yeah. You know, not even sickness. If you don't tolerate sickness, Sickness cannot stay in your body because your body is already your body. It's your property. So whatever you don't like won't stay there. Church, the Zion has changed. The place has become more beautiful. When I came, there was no gate here. <laughs> Hallelujah. Can you lift your hand and begin to thank God just because the night is coming? Can you lift your hand and begin to thank God for tonight let my king be lifted up oh
I will make hope to come to the discouraged. He said to them that are broken, I will heal them. says the Lord. Ne edura. I will cause my light to shine upon them that wait on me. Ne zolo parada. Why I speak in tongue? I see like in a vision. I see like in a vision. Some people that are here, very few people, there are things that belong to you, but the enemies made vow that you cannot have them. And time, time is really passing. That is why you are here this night. I hear God said, I will fight your enemies. The spirit of prophecy said to me that those who made vow in Shirai's made vow in the by 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 idols by water bodies that they will watch you until you are frustrated i hear the lord said i will make an end of their evil plans that through the wickedness of sitting down in your blessings they delayed your life they delayed so many things that God promised you. I hear the Lord say, say to my people that the hour of delay is over. You are here tonight, one or two persons. The enemy spoiled something that belonged to you. They spoiled it. Let me use a woman to give a sample. You are here this night. Each time you conceive, you bleed. It's because the enemies are strangulating your children. But in this meeting, I saw God like a man of war. Saying to me in prophecy that the hand that kill your children shall be destroyed. Can you lift your hand one minute and say, Lord, anywhere they gather against me to delay my life, destroy them. Go ahead and pray that prayer for a short while. The oppressors, tell them they can't oppress your life. Tell them to stop oppressing your life. And when you go to the front of Siapa, Rakata Nakata Sip, we get the legate the legate of Siapa, or get the legate the Sip, Rakata Nakata, if Rakata Nakata 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 Siapa, if we get the legate the legate the legate the legate, and the way Jesus, oh Lord, shall not oppress your life. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. Wherever they gather to destroy my life, Holy Ghost, destroy them tonight. Destroy them tonight. Arise, Lord. Destroy them tonight. 
those babies are with me here now. Father, that is how it is. Thank you, Jesus. People who don't have money to buy cars, suddenly money to buy a car will come to them. Amen. People that doesn't have money to do business, suddenly angels will bring money to them. Amen. Those that have one sickness or the other, suddenly tonight they are healed. Amen. Whatever that oppress the life of the people will be destroyed. Amen. I, I didn't hear somebody shout a big amen. Amen. Hear me. I'll be here in the morning for the last part of this meeting. You're going to come here with mantle, with oil, with water. And I'm going to give you the food of the living. Therefore, if you are hearing my voice, any gate that opens into your life in the spirit, in the physical, unto grave, that gate is broken. Amen. amen. I, I thought you would shout a big amen. 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 Maybe you are hearing my voice and the devil is frustrating you. He like lying to you. Jesus. The hour to be frustrated is past. Amen. The, the water, the water spirit man, I see him, the evil captain that came from the river to manipulate your marriage. Tell him that that ministry is over. Amen. The angel of God will cut off the head of that serpent. Amen. The serpent that appeared in your dream must die this night. Amen. Come on, lift your hand and shout a big amen. Amen. I said that snake shall be cut into seven pieces. Amen. Somebody shout fire. Fire. Father, I'm about to preach. Just to give you thanksgiving for joining Mrs. To honor you. To give you praise because of bringing me again into Zion. I was here last year. You preserved me, covenant God. I return glory to you. Thank you, Jesus. I return honor to you. Amen. The way the Zion honored me is you that they honored. Yes. Ah. That is why I know that this is just the beginning of miracle. Amen. For Zion. Amen. They will expand and expand and expand. Amen. 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 And then there will be no limit to their expansion. Amen. I thought somebody would shout a big game. Amen. It is not possible for a child to honor his father and remain on the floor. Honor them back. Amen. Lift your hand and say, Amen. Amen. I say, Your generation will know honor. Amen. Somebody say a big amen. Amen. It is a privilege of your life to know how to honor your father. Amen. Your mates shall serve you. Amen. Anybody that play with you, God will destroy him in this war. Eh? Amen. Lift your hand with me and shout a big amen. Amen. that brought me and brought and brought your pastor to the earth they will surprise you this weekend amen thank you father thank you jesus In jesus name amen you just may be seated god bless you the team of the program that is on
already on is anointing new kings. I didn't know what it means to shakram until I was until I was in a meeting some years back after ministering you know just like you have me I have somebody my daddy in the Lord I came to him he put I told people to put handkerchief on their heads I'm shouting I'm shouting here this is Zion after putting handkerchief I said anoint it I said I command the handkerchief to turn into a crown when I finished that prayer and went and sat and the man came to me and said you're so Libra I said why do you say Libra he said what did they give to you that you're bringing quick ordination I said nothing but the people will be kings so this night I am going to preach a very short while and then somebody will take something I have it's time to invade the city because you play already many invade everywhere the power the real power that will do it will come to win your battles Amen. to say the final bye bye to ordinariness Amen. let me ask you to listen there was a time in my life that people didn't know me Amen. I didn't hear your amen. Amen. That is how people will know you everywhere. Amen. Come and shout a big amen. Amen. Tonight, because they, they told me that worried people are conscious of time and night. <laughs> Praise God. I'm mm -hmm. going to do a very sharp preaching and teaching. But with me is some people who get to encourage me. The, Pastor Light is here with that instrument. He's the way you can see how he's. <laughs> Time of prayer and ministration. I want us to look at that team. To look at that team. Amen. To look at what? To look at that team. Time to make new kings. Now, if you look at the book of 1 Samuel 16, where the thing was, take, was taken, God began to say to Samuel, He said, you're going to go to Bethlehem, Judah, and anoint a new king. And anoint a new king. He said, you're going to go to Bethlehem, Judah, and do what? Anoint a new anoint king. Anoint a new king. He said, because I have rejected the other king. 16.1 So, we are in the time when God wants to anoint because he rejected the former. And you need to, when I was praying for this meeting, he told me something about this season. This is the time of kingship of the church. This is the time of rule of the church. This is the time of, the, of dominion. Now, now is, 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 the, the church that Jesus wants to rapture is a lion church. A lion church is a church that is in charge you will be in church. Now, it is the will of God for you to be what? To be in church. Lift your hand and call your name and say, Chris, Christian, you will be in church. Now, you will be in charge of your life. Now, call your name and say, be in charge of your life. Now, tell him, be, say to yourself, be in charge of your situations. Now, tell him, be in charge of your family. Now call your name and say, Chris, Christian, God will help you to be in church. Now, a life that 
must not be taken. It's a life that is in charge of itself. Let, let me say again. I said a life that must not be taken is a life that is in charge of itself. It, Jesus said in John chapter 10, 17, He said, I have power over my life. That means he was in church. He said to lay it down and to keep it. Now it is not possible for you to say I can't die when you are not in church. Excuse me. Every king established his throne from his life. And the ruling men are men that rule themselves. That is why kings are known in their character. They live what they confess. If you look at that place we read, first Samuel, we're going to read, chapter 16. God said to Samuel, He says, See, hey, you go to Bethlehem, Judah. I have somebody. I'm looking at somebody this night to tell you. It's one of the things God asked me to tell you. A lot of us are here playing with something in you that God must anoint. There is a gift. There is an ability. He didn't anoint David for nothing. David was not lucky. No. If you look at Psalm 89, 20, he said, I found my servant David. He said, with my holy oil have I anointed him to be king over Israel. Not just of that king. He said, that he, he said my, I will make him my king, higher than the kings of the earth. I mean, David was like king of other kings. You're going to ask me, he said, why did God anoint David king of other kings? First of all, he found David. When the Bible says found, it's not that God was looking for David. The interpretation is that David noticed who he is. And then be, began to develop who he is. You're sitting down here. Have you been able to notice who you are? And have you paid attention to know why God must anoint you? Maybe you are here, you have one ability or the other. And all the days of your life, you sat down on the ability. One of the reasons why people should sit down on the ability is not being able to discover it. Number two, being lazy about, discover, about developing it. Maybe somebody didn't hear what I Ah? Ah? Any man that God must help, must help himself. It is what God produced from you that he will use to crown you. Any man that wants to wear a crown must make crown. All right. All right. I, I don't know what I'm saying to anybody. I said anybody that if you go to civilized societies, if you look like Nigeria, for instance, Nigeria, we're talking about the other day they, they said they are fumbling with increasing the fair the money 145. Now, I would like you to know the truth. Those who are trying to increase fame, they don't like us. What they are trying to create is an avenue to steal more money. Did you hear what I said? When you hear them, they are doing anti-craft. Don't believe them. Those who are doing FC, EFCC are also thieves. Nigeria don't need people like that. Nigeria need founding fathers. People that love the country and want to lay down their life. Not corrupt politicians. The, 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 if we problem must end in Nigeria, we must get men to lay down their lives for the country. If you are hearing my voice, the day you will know the power of sacrifice, people will stop playing with your life. Because God doesn't take things from people and keep quiet. 
let me say again i say god it doesn't take from people take things from people and ignore them every ruling heart is a sacrificial heart i said every the first thing i know in my life is to give i know that men don't go up by taking I know very early in my life. When the covenant of life and immortality came to me, came to me, in vision, I will be seeing women dragging my seat for with me. That is, that I'm having this seat. When I sit down there, in the dream, they will be dragging it. Do you know what they are dragging? They want to share the seat with me. That is, I should marry them. They were dragging the hand of my seat. When I sit down, they were dragging the hand, dragging the hand. One day, one of them dragged it very seriously. <laughs> when she was dragging that seat with me, it was touching me. It's like I will love her. Pay attention. <laughs> when she was dragging my seat with me very seriously, the Lord saw that the lady was affecting my heart. He sent angels to start packing out everything in my office. So I was asking him, I said, why are they packing this out? The Lord told me that if you don't remove the hand of that lady from your seat, you will lose everything that make you head of life and immortality. Then I know there are some things you cannot get in life until you pay. to any family and there is no rich man there. What kept them down is stinginess. It's not what I want to say this night. So I didn't come for it. But if you hear that I got married got married any day on earth and this my loins start producing children I will no longer be grandpa. That's to tell you that there are things God doesn't you. I will come to it properly when I start teaching you on wearing the crown you made. Some people don't like, don't want to wear crown. Maybe the program is coming. People are so uniform. People are committees are set, and you're dodging. You're dodging everything. Thrones are made. I made in the midst of fire. I don't care who is deceiving you. There cannot be rule until an altar of sacrifice is built. Have you ever asked your mother, is there something she gave? Has anybody made any tangible sacrifice in your, li your life? I used to ask people, I said, I, I graduated from university 26 years ago. When? Some of us who are hearing me, if you take away 26 years from your age, you will know how much is remaining. Now, <laughs> I said, if you take away 26 years, you will not know how much. Now, since that 20 years I, I left University of Joss, I have remained single. For a reason. Have you ever paid any price? Jesus wanted the throne, he died for it. And some people don't pay to pay ordinary tithes. Wahala. Maybe I'm talking to one person here, two persons. Who's who can take decision to follow your? This is a flooded place. I say it's flooded with people. This is a flooded place. Like if, Solo, if you're like Solomon, 700 wives and 300 concubines. Do you know how many children in the palace and how many girls? All those women you see have maids. All those queens, 700 queens have what? They have all maids and relations. So, you will not know the, how the number of people in the family of Solomon. The 
level of how many bars of rice they cook for every afternoon. The, that one is the Akago. Huh? That one is Akago. Warriors are tired. Pastors are tired. God is making demand on higher consecration. He said, listen, he said, go, go now. Because my heart has left the man Saul. Not only that God rejected Saul, he, he rejected David brothers. It wasn't only Saul. So if God is saying, I will put the crown for you, it is very, very important for you to discover why the crown should come on you. I need to tell you under testimony and the ministry of grace. If I tell you what it takes me to live the way I live, you won't believe. I live a very painful life. Very a uh, very painful life. Just because of the covenant. It is not always convenient. But I have to live that way. Because I must live that way. We are in a time for it. To live that way. Glory cannot be disassociated from pain. The other side of praise is wound. Because it is wound that sustains glory. Did you hear what I said? Did you hear what I said? That's why Jesus says that if you, if you suffer with me, then you will reign. Now, now, some people want to reign without pay price. That is manipulation. One of the greatest blessings God can give to you, like your father, blessing he will give to you is to, to be a father to you. But if there is no relationship, there will be no fatherhood. And there is no father that you don't take care of that will honor you. Did you hear what I said? A lot of people will say, bless me, bless me. I said, no. If you are here, fatherhood blessing doesn't come from mouth. Did you? Doesn't somebody came to me on Thursday, no, on Sunday in Lagos for prayer. I told her, I said, I'm going to pray for you. I'm going to pray for you to have breakthrough so that when your breakthrough comes, you will get all that blessing from me through relationship. Through. Now you get blessing from your father through relationship. 27 of the book of Genesis. Isaac said to Esau, You are going to make me vanish. When I eat, then I will bless. 39 of, 37 of Genesis. Jacob loved Joseph. Because the guy was bringing evil report. Every form of love has a because. And if there is no relationship, there can't be blessing. Oh. Do you know why it takes your pastor to bring me here every year? It's not a joke. Go ask him up. I said, I said, do you know what it takes him to do what? If he is casual, I won't come here. Oh, you don't know? He pays attention, oh. Because he's not me, I don't know what I don't know what are you. Huh? Oh, let me ask you. Since I started coming to worry to Zion, have you ever I see my post again in another church? Oh, 
Oh, you think the other churches are not praying? They, they don't want immortality. They can't bring me to their church. No, 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 no. So your pastor keeps sweating, you know. <laughs> Did you hear what I said? Did you hear what I said? That's why I know that you are blessed. Lift your hand and say, I am greatly blessed. Now, I would like us to look at that scripture. The scripture here. 16 from 1. 16 from 1 of the book of First Samuel. Now the Lord said to Samuel. Therefore the Lord said to, yeah, the, the Lord said to Samuel. How long will you mourn for Saul? He said, sin have rejected him from reign over Israel. Go ahead. Fill your horn with oil and go. I am sending you to Jesse the Bethlehemite. For I have provided myself a king among his sons. Yes. And Samuel said, How can I go? If so, hears it, he will kill me. But the Lord said, Take a heifer with you, and say, I have come to sacrifice to the Lord. Then invite Jesse to sacrifice, and I will show you what you shall do. You shall anoint for me the one I named for you. And Samuel did which the Lord spoke to him and came to Bethlehem. Go ahead. And the elders of the trembled at his coming and said, Come and down peaceably. And he said, Peaceably I have come to sacrifice to the Lord. Sanctify yourselves and come with me to the sacrifice. Then he called, then he consecrated, he consecrated Jesse and his sons and invited them to the sacrifice. And came to pass that when they were come, that he looked on on Eliab. Go ahead. But the Lord said to Samuel, Do not look at his appearance or at his physical stature, because I have refused him, for the Lord does not see as man sees. For man looks at the outward appearance, but the Lord, Lord looked on the heart. At the heart. Jesse called Abinadab and made him pass before Samuel, and he said, Neither has the Lord chosen this one. Then Jesse made Shammah pass by, and he said, Neither has the Lord chosen this one. Number, number, number 10. Number 18. 10. And yes. again. 10. Get Jesse. Jesse made seven of his sons pass before Samuel. And Samuel said to Jesse, The Lord has not chosen this. Now, how many people have God rejected? No. First of all, he rejected eight. First of all, he rejected the former king. Listen. Rejection go on every day. Every day, God rejects people. He finished with Saul and then came back and finished with seven elder brothers of elder brothers of David. Of the level that Samuel got confounded. I said, God, Jesus' children, seven has gone. I said, You don't want them. Then Samuel, Samuel said unto Jesse, Are all the young men here? He said, Are all the young men? Are all the young men? Yeah, he are all that children. Then he said, "See that he there made thou the youngest, and there he is keep the sheep. sheep." And Samuel said to Jesse, "He said, Fetch, Fetch and bring him. Yes, for we will not sit down till he comes here." Can you see? So he said, "Wait, wait, wait. Your children are they gone?" He said, "No." You see, there is one in the bush. And each time I come to this scripture, unction came on, unction comes on me. You see, the Bible says that Jesse, seven of his children, Samuel himself, God told them, said, we will not sit down until this boy in the bush do what? Return. Why? It is because of the importance of David. Hear me. God doesn't make men important until men make themselves. The way you see yourself is how God sees you. Some people like sitting down on their future and believe that God should bless them. No. You cannot sit down in all your opportunities. Maybe you are here. There are some of us that are here. I already know, like, the, the praise leader. I, I was here last year and I saw him again. When I came, he was still singing. I said, bless man. Do you know what it means to be part of the covenant church? And the, Against all odds, 
I keep on telling you, change church, you sat down. There are some of us, when I look at you, I see, I see your face, I smile. I see your face, because I know you. I already know you in Zion. I get happy when people know the importance of being part of something that is serious. You see, because people take their destiny from their eyes. Did you hear what I said? It is what you see that you take. What you see must guide your decisions. What you see must guide the way you live. These people couldn't sit down until David came. And then if you look at from verse 12, you will not see the because. So he sent and brought him in. Wait. You will not know why God anointed David. Now hear me. The virtue that you have is there. But it will not make meaning if you don't recognize it. When I became a pastor, when I became pastor, I didn't know what is called pastor's pastoral psychology. That is the reason why some people go to church. Until I started interviewing people, I said, why do you like coming to listen to me? The day they started telling me why they come to listen to me, my life was influenced. Because what I thought that was bringing them to church was not really what was bringing them. I don't know whether you're hearing me. <laughs> did, 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 did you hear what I said? I said what I thought that was bringing them was not really. Now, what, when, I, when they told me what was bringing them, I began to do something about it. It is the day I interviewed them. People, those people I interviewed, was the day I got conscious of what I wear to church. That day. Because, because before that day, I believe all that matters is anointing. Anointing. Now, but some people were coming for anointing, but much more than we are all that things that was attracting them. Like the way I appear. Did you? Huh? Huh? Now, if you did, if, now, when I interviewed them and I noticed it, then I did something. Then I stopped coming to church carelessly. Because when you have a gift and you didn't do anything about that gift, the gift will be wasted in you. And you cannot wear crown. Because it is what you produce from what God gave you that will help you to wear crown. If you are here and God is saying, this is the reason I anointed David. If you must wear crown in Zion or in Warren, in Nigeria, do you know why you must wear the crown? The, the first day I met, I met Pastor Great was in, in Abuja. I didn't know him. I was in the meeting, he came in. He came in with his wife. When I was praying, I went to his wife. I said, you are one of the reasons why this man has prospered. I know exactly when I went to him and I laid down and I said that to her. That is the first word I ever said to her the first day I met her. It wasn't in war, it was in Abuja. I stood on my PA yesterday again in, my, in the room here. I said, you see that if there is one of the reasons why. You see, because you're not a pastor. You don't know that a woman that should marry a pastor should have tolerance. Should. is a major character of pastor's wife. He can win the day. you are a shepherd the, the, the man can walk on top of the air and go away but every problem we see eventually come to you you know the way your pastor is it is possible that one or two girls might want to love him and be like I want to serve my daddy in a unique way service my daddy 
when they are trying to hang around, you will be shaving them. Now, so diggy, and then, but you need to be careful because they are members of the church. <laughs> you will be telling them, leave my husband, leave my husband for me, but don't go out of the church. <laughs> Did you? So it is intelligent to separate it. May God bless her. Do you know why I know that? Huh? I have met pastors and their wives several places. In 23 years. In so many, so many places. So that lady you have there is a blessing, no? Because if she's causing problems, some of you will not be here. Oh, you don't know what I mean? Huh? Huh? No, you won't be here now. Let's look at that wave. 13. He said, that is why I anointed David. I will just start praying now. Do you know why God will anoint you? And then, have you known? Do you know? Or... Oh, have you done anything about it? I don't know whether you're somebody's hearing. That which you know, did you do something about what you know? Some people believe that they, you know God, God said it, and I believe it. That's the truth. It doesn't say it doesn't say it sometimes. So that's the truth. It's not true. When what God said is something you will work out. Because every man supposed to be part of his future. If God gives you future, you must be. If I made prophecy that you are going to be mother of those twins, you will need to do something to make that prophecy come to pass. The prophecy has come, but then you have to take it and make it personal. It is not correct for you to have so many babies. I'm going to leave so many babies here. To have so many babies in the altar of Zion. And you don't have it in your womb. It's not okay for God to keep so many cars here. Job opportunities in the altar. And then somebody says, I don't have job. The job you need is here already. The car you need is here already. To be, to be the next senator or governor of death has said, it's your portion. This is the kingly church. One day Zion must produce a governor. Yeah. I didn't come here to make noise. Produce rulers, senators, women, legislators, not only men. We are very wealthy people. Somebody that will come to Lagos and take me with his private jet. Yeah. Oh, yeah, no. My grandpa and I be worried with a private jet come and you land in Lagos and then uh, is it every time I'll be angry at that in the airport? No drama like that. No drama like that too. That is why I'm bringing oil on your head. Amen. Somebody said everything around me shall change. Shall change. Shall change. Shall change. Shall change. Somebody shall fire. Also, look at the scriptures for me. Listen, God has given me energy for somebody this night, yes, sir. And then your destiny will rattle. Amen. Lift your hand and say, My destiny will rattle. Can somebody say, My destiny will rattle? So it will rattle by fire. If you believe, I shall For Samuel. So he sent and brought him in. He was ruddy. Now he was ruddy with bright eyes. And, of and beautiful, looking, of and beautiful Lord, countenance. And the Lord said, Arise, anoint him, for this is the one. Wait. Wait. Maybe to a lady to make more meaning to a lady. The Bible began to say, say he brought him and he was ruddy. That is 
physical appearance now. That the way David was was him ago Rudy now. Huh? You know somebody that's like you know Rudy like robust. You know has a good body. That was a man. No? That was a man. No? Somebody that was too be well built. And then he came back and said he had a beautiful countenance. And then came back and said he was good to look at. God was saying the same thing all over. Beautiful countenance and came back and said goodly to look at. So does God really ignore the way we look? And if God does not ignore the way you will look, why will you come to church tomorrow scattered? You wake up Sunday morning, a lady that is not married. The day you will know the clothes you will wear is Sunday morning. You go to your wardrobe and do to bon, to bon, to bon, to bon, to bon. Now it is not that it's not that money. You will know the clothes you will wear a week before, three days before. Iron it and then keep it. And on Sunday you choose it because you are not married. And then choose it. I hear that will fit it. Fit, that will fit it. In the Abiyana church, you will be moving like, can't you see me? Am I not really fine? Don't you know if you marry me, I will help you? I am the most beautiful girl in this church. Are you blind? Now let me tell you, that's how you will come to church tomorrow. Amen. Because tomorrow is the kingly service. You are going to go to your box and bring out the best clothes today to come and show me that clothes. Because I'm a metro after tomorrow. So that when I, oh my God, do you know, do you know in heaven, God wants to have capture an image of you. God, angels come here to come and snap faces. Some of us, when they snap our face, you will see your lips is very dry. Take a hammer down. This is rainy season. Somebody say praise God, praise God, praise God. Praise God, praise God, praise God. Somebody say praise God, praise God. Praise God, praise God. <laughs> God cared about the look of a man. How much more a woman? Can I tell you something? When those women were fighting for the throne of the queen, of, of queenship in Shushan, the Bible said they, the Bible said they kept them in royal haram. To make them ready to appear before king. That means that it, they say those girls will not go to the king until they, are, they look very well. That means that some people, there is a way we cannot appear before some people. If they say that the governor of Lego of Delta is looking for you, you will, you will carry Petrucci pass. A lot of people destroy their destiny through their appearance. Do, do I look like I'm grandpa still? Huh? Some people destroy their destiny through the way they abandon themselves. One of the ways to know frustration is people that come out of their house scattered. People come out of this. It's not your portion. And it is and when I'm talking about looking after yourself. I'm not talking about wearing expensive clothes. I'm talking about knowing that God needs you the way God wants you to look okay. It's a revelation. Because we have seen it in David. You are here and, and each time you, you, you're a woman, you're not married. I thought your tummy, your tummy boy. It's not good. You go and carry belt and put on that, that tummy and go to gym, gym and go and reduce that stomach. You need to do it. Then I was on the to go and reduce your what? Hi, my, you, you tie something here very, 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 very seriously. I say, you stomach, you baklado, mete bra, you see her. You so mete bra, you will come down.
Before a girl that is 25 years that I feel say you look like you know, somebody who is 60 years. I draw good like that. It's not good. And then when your stomach is like that, you know you gain a girl like you are scattered. I don't know. My marriage is delayed. Why, why would you delay? <laughs> is somebody, am I blessing somebody? We saw in the Bible that God cared about how a man, the looks of a man, and then women that everything they have is look. Baba have already said character. Character is okay. But character is when we come close. Or you're not gonna pack again and say, come and see the way I be. Who cares about how you behave? The first thing that we see is the way you are. Then when a man sees the way you are, he will not be thinking, obviously close. He not start looking at character. But the man has to come close first. So am I fine? Now let's do Verse 13. Verse 13. Then Samuel took the horn of oil and anointed him in the midst of his brothers. And the Spirit of the Lord came upon David. From that day forward, and Samuel rose up and went to Ramah. Now, let's look at it. The, and then the Bible began to say more about. Now, this is David's appearance. Why God anointed him? We're talking about anointing new kings. Why will he anoint you? Now, if you look at it, the Bible, began to say things. Began to say. More things about God was emphatic on why David was anointed. I will soon start praying prayer of anointed. But why? If you if if you see a man or a woman you love and you want to be like her, find out what made the woman different. And begin to adopt that. Because God is not a respecter of any person. When you have the character that God should anoint, He will really anoint you. Am I saying something? Am I saying something? Am I saying something? If you are here, you are a young man, don't waste your future. Develop your life. Whatever your heart finds to do, do it with all your heart. Let go ahead and read that. 14. And the Spirit of the Lord God departed from Saul, and an evil spirit from the Lord troubled him, and Saul said, and said unto him, Behold, now. An evil spirit from God troubled thee. Let our Lord now commanded by the servant which are before thee to seek out a man who is corn in prayer. Uh, uh, on her by shall come a pass that when the evil spirit from the Lord come upon thee, that he shall play with his hands, and that shall be well. And the Lord said unto his servants, Provide me now a man that can play well, and bring him to, to me. Then answered one of the servants and said, Behold, I have seen a son of Jesse, the better man. He's gone in and playing. Mighty and valor, man of valor, man of war, praying in matters, calmly person. The Lord is with you. A apart from David, knowing, looking fine, knowing how to train sheep, kill lion and bear, David again can play jitter. That is, the guy was most gifted. The earth is a place of opportunities, it's a place of opportunities that if you're hearing my voice, Develop your life and allow what you have to speak for you. To help me tell somebody, allow what you have to speak for you. When they were looking for somebody, and they, they oh my God, please pay attention to me. If you look at 16, if you look at this 16, where we read, God said to no, somebody said to God, if I go to anoint David and somewhere here, I mean, so here, he will kill me. He will. Yet it is that David now that Saul brought into his house. Apart from.
from that God chose David. Saul also needed David. Somebody didn't hear what I said. Huh? It was not enough. It was not enough for God to choose David. David had a talent that brought him very close to Saul to see ascents of the throne. If you want to be a great person in Zion, don't you know that the people of Zion should like you? Some people keep on saying, hey, I don't care whether people like me or not, God has called me, is not correct. That is why when you obtain favor from God, you will obtain from men. Some people can be resentful in the church. They say, hey, since I go to that church, nobody likes me. I say, it's not true. God, you don't have anointing and people will hate you. Don't tell me that, you are, that God gave you favor and that's why people don't like you. It's not correct. David was anointed by God and then Saul wanted him to solve a problem. A king is a problem solver. He went to the house of Saul to do what? To solve a problem. That his mates couldn't solve. Did, am I saying something to someone? Yes, sir. And that is bringing me to Psalm 89, verse 2. Tonight, because I'm going to be through now in a short while. Tonight, I pray for you, for God to find you. God will not find you until you find yourself. Amen. Am I saying something? Until. That is why if you hear you're a woman and your husband marry you or, so, or the man is coming for you ask the man to tell you can you realize this in pastor light but ask it's the man not. to tell you ask the man to do what ask the man to tell you what he loves about you not just say i love you i love you is not enough what do you really love about me because marriage is contracted Round about a because. Because it is a because that sustains love. Am I saying something to somebody? I say this. If, the, if you are already married, still ask your husband, why do you, what do you love in me? He must tell you. Why do you leave all the other girls and marry me? When the man tells you that, you will know that that thing he told you is what he should protect. And from what the man told you, you will know how intelligent he is. How he is and what the man expects from you. And the, if God keep, keep on coming to you and say to you, my daughter, my daughter, or my son, my son, a day will come when I shall make you the richest man on earth. That promise is built around what you have. So when God says, I will do this to you in vision, I will do that to you. Go back to him in that vision. Or in prayer, I said, what is it in me that you will depend on to achieve this thing in me? Because there is something in you. If I'm the head of life and immortality, should I not, should I not find out why I'm heading the covenant? Huh? Huh? Should I believe that God just loved me? No. I am heading it for a reason. If I'm in worry today, this, this program, this weekend, I came here on permission because I am not a traveling preacher. The Lord asked me not to travel out. So my dwelling place is my bedroom. If I live here on Monday, I don't know when I'm the next time I'm leaving, leaving my room. In fact, there are days I stay inside my house for four months. I mean, in the church there, I'll stay inside comp church compound for four months without crossing the gate. Because that is the life of this covenant. I stay there to do writing like now I'm making 10 books at a time. So I write every night. So because I'm in worry now I can't do writing. But if I go on Monday I will still do writing. Monday night. I might say something. Psalm 89. I don't know what I'm blessing people. 89 verse 2. Am I blessing somebody? Yes, sir. If you sit down on your destiny, God will sit down on you. Stop sitting down on what you know how to do. You're going to wake up. You're going to wake up and do something about your future. 
and do something about the promises of God where? In your life. You're going to take care of yourself. If you're here, you have saloon. Your saloon should be the best. Your saloon should be the best saloon in Warren. Everybody should know why you are doing saloon. You go to learn more about it. And you improve every day. When you see a girl that is very gifted in making saloon, you employ her and increase her salary. Because that particular, that, the finger of that girl knows how to turn women's hair anyhow. And if she notices she's gifted that way, then you should do something about her gift. Don't treat her like other girls. Because she's already blessed. Somebody didn't hear what I said. Huh? People like saying, all of, like all of us are the same, it's a lie. If we have singers in this church, do we all sing at the same level? Some people are apprentice singers. They should learn from those who are lead singers. Now, whatever you do, improve. Tell me, thank you. Psalm 89, verse number 20. Psalm 89, verse 2. For I have said, I have said, message shall be built up forever. Now, 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 now. Psalm 89, 20. 89, 20. 20. 20. I, I have found David my, my servant. Yes. With my holy oil, I have anointed him. When the Bible says, I found David, God is saying, David found himself. God doesn't find people who don't find themselves. He said, I found him. Because the guy, first of all, found himself. Some people have abandoned themselves to the situation. I don't care what you're going through. Whatever you're going through, have answer in yourself. If a man didn't wake up, his God will not wake up. Let me say again. I say, if a man didn't wake up, his God will not. No, his God will not wake up. In the book of Judges, chapter six, the, the, the Gideon was just saying, there are so many promises that God made to us, and He's not fulfilling it, and the, the Midianites are oppressing us. The angel went to him and said, "Mighty man of valor, you cannot use your strength to trash with." The strength you use in treasure with is given to you to deliver your people. And the energy you have, you sat down on it and you're complaining. You can't complain. If you're here, you're a lady and your marriage is delaying, develop, an, de develop a talent. Every man that is brilliant wants a woman that will help him. Develop. Develop a talent. Some years back, about about, 20, about about 15 years ago, a singer came to our church in Canada, about 15 years. She's a singer. She's just finished singing. And one guy in the church, a young boy, came to me and said, Dad, I said, yeah. He said, find out from this lady whether he has a, a daughter. I said, what, what do you want to know about the daughter? He said, if this lady will have a daughter, I'll, I'll engage her. I don't care how old she is. Why? Huh? Because of the way the lady sang. And then ask me, how do I know the lady? One day I was passing through a street and the church was having a program. And the voice of that lady came in speaker. The, her voice. She was ministering in the church. And her voice came in speaker. Where I was driving, I was passing. I said, this lady that this voice came in speaker must find out who she is. Now this lady that sang this song this way must sing for me one day. I started looking for her. And I said, I went to church. I said, this lady has sung song, so, 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 song. Where did she come from? They told me. I went after her. The next day I brought her. Her voice, where? In speaker. And then somebody saying, God, <laughs> my uncle is a wizard. Excuse me. Use your gift and conquer the wizard. Use your ability and every one of us here is gifted in one way or the other. Now, don't ignore your gifting and want to copy others. What you have is sufficient for you. Find out what it is. The gift look like you.
It might be you are wife of a, of a pastor and the only thing that you are not yet married. And after, when everybody here leaves soon, when this meeting ends, and everybody leaves soon, you are trying to find out who and who forgot her post in the church. And then you try to pick it and pass all the things people forgot. Children that left half of their shoe. One, 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 one leg of their shoe. Where? In the church, you pick it. Somebody who dropped her wristwatch, you pick it. And then gave it to the head of Osha. I said, this is all the things people forgot in their church. And I think, in the church, I, thought, I think you need it. That have to make you live maybe a little bit late. But that thing you did is interpreting your future. People should interpret their future through what they do with their lives. Nothing happens on its own. Am I saying something to somebody? Am I saying something to somebody? That is why, if you look at the book of Zechariah chapter 6, people who want to wear a crown must make a crown. Must. Maybe tomorrow or later, we'll be talking about disobedience. Why we saw God abandoned Saul, chose David. When I dressed up, something happened because he told me, your pastor told me he would come and take me by four. So I, I dressed up and he hasn't come. I stand on my bed there, put on tie, waiting for him, speaking the tongue. So, so I was asking myself, I said, why, why, why is it that I have dressed up? I, I should have waited for, for, for him to come before I can dress, I dress up. The Lord said, no. No. You should, what you do is what you're supposed to do. And that thing you did is why you are who you are. minutes I didn't see him. I now called him. I said, you told me by far and I'm here waiting. He said, we are, they are not very close. Now, that temperament is why I'm shepherd. Why I'm that. Why I'm head of life at the mortality. Why I'm grandpa. So, your future has a character. Did I say something? I said, your what? Every future has a talent. Every future has an endowment. Every future has a behavior. Every future has a manifestation. You must find out that which God must anoint. Because this is the season of your anointing. Can I ask you to stand? It's your season. Lift your hand and say, it is my season. And then say, nothing will stop me. Go ahead and begin to say, this is my season. This is my this season. Is my season. This, is my season. this is my season. This is my season. And nothing will stop me. And nothing will stop Lift up me. your hand and say, Lord, every ability in me. Lord, every ability, every ability in me. Every ability in me. I wake up that ability. I wake up, that I wake up the ability. I wake up the ability. Go ahead and pray the prayers. I command the ability to wake up. I wake up the ability now. Empty the ability in me. There's an ability. Jesus, I wake it up now. I work it up now. Every ability in me, I work it up by fire. I work up that ability. Every ability in me, Lord, I work it up. Lord, I work it up. Lord, I work it up. Every ability in me, Lord, I work it up. Lord, I work it up. Lord, I work it up. Every ability in me, Lord, I work it up. Every ability in me, I work it up. Every ability in me, Lord, I work it up. Somebody and a penalty of this. There is an ability. There is an ability. Every ability in me. There is an ability. Jesus, I work it up. Jesus, I work it up. There is an ability. Every ability in me. 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 Every ability in Maybe your ability is already speaking. Command that ability to speak louder. Go ahead and say your ability that God has I command you in the name of Jesus. I command you now. Wake up. Wake up! 
name of Jesus. I can see all those women who are there who are having your children at your hand. Can you carry your children in your hand and stand up and pray so that I can hear you and your child will hear that you're praying? The child, that child, your your Karen, she will hear you pray prayer. So that the child will know that he has a praying mother. Ah, a praying. One of the things I know early in my life is my mother prays. And she prays by five o'clock every morning. And I know that she prays for her children. I know it as a small boy. My mother still pray every five till now. Now say with me, Lord Jesus. Lord Jesus. That ability in me. That ability in me. I command the ability to speak louder. I command the ability to speak louder. The ability that God must anoint. The ability that God must anoint. Let the ability speak louder. Let the ability speak louder. Go ahead and command the ability. I command it to speak louder. You must command the ability of Jesus. The ability in me. You must command the ability. I command my ability now. Say, come out. Before I come again to the hour of impartation, Jesus. as all eyes are closed in this meeting, all eyes closed in this meeting. If you are in this meeting and you have not given your life to Jesus to be your Lord and Savior. Maybe this is the first time you're coming to Zion. Or you are an old member of Zion. But you know there is no contact with the Savior. When I pray this prayer, I am going to go to the last part of this meeting. Then I will know you are blessed. You want to say, Grandpa, I want to give my life to Jesus. I want to, Him to be Lord and Savior. I want to pray for you special prayer. And I will continue to pray for you this night. Or you are somebody who yeah, yeah, you gave your life to Christ, but you keep... You keep falling back to sin. And you want to say, Lord, for this last time, I don't want to go back to sin. I want to have the testimony of my conversion. I want to be Jesus' son. If you're saying that tonight, can I see you lift your hands somewhere, anywhere you are? You want to give your life to Jesus and you, 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 want, you don't want to go back. You want me to pray for you with special prayer in this meeting tonight and afterwards. To give you enablement to live for Jesus. And you're saying it somewhere. Can you lift your right hand? I'm seeing hands already. You, you mean it. You want to say, Jesus, come into my life and be everything. Alright. Those who have raised their hand, can you leave where you are and come to the altar to meet me? Into my heart. If you're down upstairs, can you?
for them as they go back to their seats. Put your hands together for Jesus. Come on, something great has happened. Something jam your hand. Jam your hand together. Excuse me. Excuse me. Keep your card. Jam your hand together for Jesus. If you are not a member of this church and you are here, I'm inviting you tomorrow to come here for the meal of those that don't die. So you're going to do church here. Two weeks ago, I was in Enugu and I told pastors, one of the one of the pastors is here. I told them, yes, I told them that they should not go to their church. They should close their church account. And they all did, they came. They said, you, you have your yes. They bring their church members. Now, when 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 in Nukumamu, when in Nukumamu, we are in a city. No better should come. Did you hear what I said? They should come to eat the meal of immortality, so that their church can be big. If there is a person you love, you worry. Tell him not to go to his church tomorrow. He should come here. He should. Father, I have a burden for an individual here who is having a particular infirmity in his body. I don't know where you are. But Eleni Oshara Teka say it do not. Do no mesala. 
you are here a particular sickness you refuse to leave your body I command that growth to Larry Ashkanata Cobra Danatara Zelia Kradabai I command that particular eye problem Nekodiebre do Halana Chihadana Lea Greto Pekin de Loskia is to your body I prophesy maybe you are here you are about five people you have a fibro growth in your womb by the anointing of the Holy Ghost I look at fibro I saw you spirit of fibro in about seven ladies here nine ladies I command you to disappear Amen. I command you to disappear in Amen. In the name of Jesus. Amen. Nahuska. Letoriana Hadala Bara. Jesus. Zenie Kumana. Kumana Bala. Zielia Kalaba. Lihumesho Lodiana. Eklavoroto. Silikradiana. Hakotobedi Fred de Kalania. You are here to tie you to a particular bondage. I say your hand will not prosper in whatever you do or they tie your womb to a particular bondage or they tie your imagination I command you to be released now Amen in the name of Jesus Amen Nehesula Zedilo Topakana I hear devil make noise and say who can help you I hear the, I hear the Lord say I will help you Amen That the Lord will deliver you this night by the anointing for the hand of strong enemies I saw the power of your enemies collapse Amen I saw them collapse by fire Amen there are about 21 people here. I saw before you the ladder of your promotion. But the devil keep confusing you. I command the power that confuses you to be broken. Amen. To be broken. Amen. The power that is preventing you from climbing the ladder. The ladder of your promotion. I command that power to collapse. Amen. To collapse. Amen. I command that power to collapse. Amen. Job. Right now, by fire, by fire, by 
fire by Amen. fire in the name of Jesus. Amen. I saw, I saw freedom. 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 Mahaska. Lady Bariana. I hear the Lord say, I will rise to fight. Nidu Beria Kala Patana. Lanzeli Parana. If you are here, there is sickness in your body. You are. Sometimes you are here, you find it difficult to breathe. You find it difficult to breathe. Will rain fall like asthma. Ayedu Bola Radipo Noto. Ziele Bron. The Lord said to me, said to you, that that asthma is destroyed. Amen. I don't know why he's telling me about healing. Healing. Zonaria Haba. Keto Lobo Karaba. Freedom. He's telling me about freedom of people. About freedom. About healing. Legato Liabrana. Latokana. Baraya. Zelikrana. I stand in the altar. Nato Bekelea Rabana. The stealer of future is hanging around you. I command the influence of that stealer to be broken in your life. Amen. I saw about 17 people, demons, come to you in the night to harass your future and to say there is no hope in God. I hear the Lord say, I will multiply angelic activity around you. Amen. That I will destroy the wickedness of the wicked. Amen. He said, I will, I, I will bring a new season. That you might know I am Jehovah, the one that loves you. Gadia la Pataya. He said, they will gather, but when they gather this night, I will scatter them. Amen. Hishkini nemo soloboria. Go the Yuzena, you're the healing Messiah. 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 You're a healing Messiah. Wherever you are in this meeting, can you lift up your hands? Can you lift your hands and be quiet? Can you lift your hands? Can you do this? Can you lift your hands and be quiet? Be completely quiet. I saw 25 people here. The sign of the oil coming on you is just healing oil. There is a power, a, 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 an unfolding power that will descend on 25 people. And then when the oil come on you, every sickness in you, no, not 25, about 30 people, sickness in you will disappear. Lift your hand and be quiet. It is also functioning with covenant of divine health. Oh, I can't remember the last time I, I take drugs. I don't take drugs. You cannot be immortal and take drugs. There are about 30 people here. The power to stay without sickness is, is, is also has helped me to find out. 30 people, because I saw a healing river descending upon 30 people. There is a mountain aware of infirmities in people's body. It's going to be my sign. The angel that came with me told me to announce it. To announce a massive healing oil here flowing into the congregation. Jehovah, I release healing oil upon 30 people. Wherever they are in this hall, as many as are bound by the oath of delay. Watch out. The oath of delay is being broken. The healing oil is coming on you to melt away infirmities. Thank you. The spirit of power. Thank you for your move in this hall. It's going to be gentle. Last soprona. There's a lady there. The mystery of fibro is broken. There is a man there. Something is growing in your body is broken. I saw the fire of God descend upon a young boy. Break chains of darkness. Thank you, Lord, for answer. There's a release of a prophetic movement. Us has helped me to find out there is someone that is there. I saw the power of prosperity. An amazing prosperity. An amazing, an amazing, an amazing power of prosperity, an amazing power. I announce you, I don't 
don't know whether you are a woman or a man. But the angel of riches is coming to where you are. Thank you Lord for fire. Amen. To separate this billionaire. I cast the power that make people dry in their life. I cast the power of infirmities. I cause chains to be broken. There's a mighty release. Wait. The Lord said, Judge altars. Judge. Judge altars. I come as a sacrifice. To cry in the life of 27 people here. Who their soul and destiny is tied to family altar. Let's out with me, Lord Jesus. Lord Jesus. Every altar. Every altar. That tie me. That tie me. I command the altar to release me. Go ahead and command the altar to release me. Let the altar release me now. Every altar that is tied me. I command you release me. Release me now. Release me now. Release me now. I reke to leke to suprakata. I prakata to 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 I broke the logo to suprakata. I reke to leke to suprakata. Every altar tied my life. Tied my destiny. Release me now. Release me now. Release me now. Release me now. I reke to leke to suprakata. I broke the logo to suprakata. Reke to Look at the 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 altar, take my destiny. Release now, release now, lose now, release now. You must lose now, 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 Release now, release me now, release me now, release me now, release me now, by fire, by fire, I feel water, die my destiny, die my life, release now, release now, you got to look at us, I look at the look at it, you got to look at us, 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 Right hand. It's my right hand. My right hand. 
My right hand is a healing rod. It's a healing rod. My right hand. My right hand. I receive power. I receive power. Through my right hand. My right hand. Just be moving it and be saying, I receive power. I receive power. Through my right hand. I receive power. Yes, I receive power. I receive power. I receive power. Go ahead and speak. I get the look of power. I cut pop up the power.
You will hear there is a devil within your body. A demon is in your body. You are hearing me, you demon. You can stay in the body of that young man now. I just you out. They have had me. Thank you. Thank you, Lord. Thank you for anointing. Thank you, Lord, for anointing. Thank you for anointing. Thank you, Lord, for your power. Thank you for your power. Thank you for your power. Thank you for freedom. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. Nehuskelab. Nahalabada. Zikelebotona. Retara. Yes, Lord. I saw fire coming on somebody. Latokalabaraya, Baba. I saw fire. Fire of freedom. I saw fire. Now begin to check your body. Begin to check that pain in your heart. Begin to move your body. Begin to check your waist. Begin to check your heart. Begin to check that growth around you. Go ahead and check it. There are about 21 people now, up to 30 people that are healed in the heart. In somebody, when you were coming here, one, your shoulder was pinning you, but as I was praying, that, that pain in your shoulder lifted up. There is someone that when you came, you couldn't see me clearly from where you were standing. But tonight you can see me. There is someone that came here, you were feeling terribly cold when you came into this hall. But while I was preaching, you got healed. I want to hear as others are sitting down. I want three people to testify of healing. Something that happened to them when I was praying. As others are sitting down. Don't take the testimony. If you got healing while I pray, can you leave where you are and come out? I'm going to give you a chance. Like you're that person that have this ankle, Pateni Legre Boska, that have this ankle that was released of the ankle. Somebody, when you came in here, you were feeling like feverish, you were cold, you were bad. There's somebody that is here, one part of your head was heavy. This is what I'm talking about, happened to people while I pray. There is somebody here, you know, you couldn't bend down very well, but you know, you can bend now. You can bet there is something that is wearing your spinal cord. You, something that was is wearing your spinal cord, but while I prayed you, you know you can bend down and get to Borea Namaskana. There is somebody that is here. You suffer from dizziness. That is when you drink long, you can no longer be stable. You feel like sitting down. But when I was praying, you know you were strong. Something happened to you. These people I'm talking about were healed in this meeting. Healed this night. Somebody jam your hand together. People are coming out to come and give testimony. Jam your hand together. Are you clapping? Come on, clap. That is how God asked me to minister. Keep on clapping. People are coming out. The Lord asked me to minister that way. Clap. There will not be sickness in Zion. Clap. There is somebody that is here. They keep on taking people in your house every three years. Every three years. And they told you that the mark of death is around you. But when we are praying, you know it in your heart that something left your body. You saw it. It happened this night. That means that nobody again will die in your family. You can't die. I saw the angel of death leave your body. I saw it. Let's listen one one minute. My own is a headache. Yes. For past three days now, I've been feeling this uh, headache. Whatever I do, I feel the headache. I pray over and over. But immediately we started prayer. I find out that there is no headache in my body. Someone, can you get me oil? Get me. Come. Come. He sent for this word. And the word. We cannot be so way people are praying. I'm sick. I am. Check what is check 
what, what happened to you. And then testify. I see it. I see it. It's a great service. Yes, testify. Yes. 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 In my room for past eight years now. Yes. But as the prayer was going on, the tree just stopped. Somebody jump your hands together now. So bend down. Yes. Keep bending down. Yes, bend down. Keep bending down. Bend down the last time. Keep. Somebody jump your hands together. Come this side. Yes. Can you give me oil? Nenu down. Nahabatole, my God sent me. He sent me to command. Whatever that is moving in your body that want to shorten your life. sickness occasionally wake you up in the night. I can't get it whether it is toothache or biting stomach in seasons or pain in the ribs or worry. Something that is happening around your family. Keep waking you up in the night in pain. When I was, I laid hand on that woman I saw it. If it's not toothache, it is biting stomach or family worry. But in seasons in the night, you wake up, you can't sleep. Where are you? Stand up. Come. I lost my daughter. That even before then, at middle of the night, the sickness always comes. When it comes, I don't. I'm, I, I always unconscious. Was always blow up, but set it time I went to the doctor and he told me it was not BP. Let me go to the altar. Kneel down here. I prophesy to you. It's not war I will fight for you. It's war God will send the angels from heaven to go into the deep of darkness to destroy the strange man that come from evil forest to weary your life. I'm not here to behave like a prophet. I came here to help you. To give the man command. And this prayer will not be forgotten. That God remembered you. Therefore, Lord, there will be no mobilization. Not after this night. I lay siege on your destiny to ask you to be blessed forever. In the mighty name of Jesus. You know, 
when I was trying to come, he said, go to the meeting and be quiet. He said, how we, yes, but when the rain was falling, when the rain was falling, I was asking myself, why the meeting is about to start and rain start falling? He said, I will bring my chosen into the meeting. Then I will minister to them the way I will tell you. Then he said, when you go to the meeting, don't allow the meeting to be rowdy. So I know I came here this night for some people. I bless you. Jam your hand together. Go, take her back. Come, yes. Come, 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 me. Give me oil. Shariti Motoli, brother. If you are there, as, because I'm about to go, they told me that it, this this time. If you are here and all the devil is doing is to scatter whatever you lay your hand to do, I stand at the order to say to you, the hour to scatter your life is over. Yeah. Eh? The hour to scatter your life is over. Amen. The soldiers of heaven will go after your enemy. Amen. If you are somebody that when you walk, money will not remain in your hand. I say to you by the Spirit of God, no devil will steal from you. Amen. Lift your hand and say, Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Why I called you out? Because when I was mentioning case, there was something that concerned her. And they went to sit there and the Lord said, No, don't go out. Bless her because they want to steal you. Marina Basantala. No. No, she's already blessed. Hatora Basanti Lady Brado Kanama. Doria Brado Zabana. Leme do Bruce. The guy's done. Come. If God. He, this meeting, I don't know, you know, you call it, but I'm seeing healing all here. Clap paradises. Thank you, Lord. In Jesus' name. Come. Whatever that make you, 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 okay, it was you that talked midnight. Rebuke it. Rebuke the angel of darkness that come to you at the middle of the night. I curse the power of that angel. In the name of Jesus. Yes, give someone else. Shall join your hand together for Jesus. Join your hand. Yes. 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 Praise the Lord. Yes. I titled this healing the benefit of sincere pull up. When the man of God came to the stage, my spirit was fully overwhelmed. And I received him right in my spirit with joy. And I'll be following him up with all sincerity. Yes. Since then, immediately he said that I should raise my heart to receive the power of healing. I have this very severe, how do I call it, Six, 16th of last month when I did my traditional wedding. I came back to the town. Since then, a very severe, very serious on my, on my, under the breast of my left side. Yes. Even right here in my phone, the drugs that the doctor has prescribed for me is there and I refuse to put them. So much because I know together. that it's not just what they think it is. Yes. I've never felt anything in the, in the water or whatever that made it to say maybe it's a code. Since then, I can't wake up very well. I can't be like this very well. When I was dancing, I was struggling with myself. But immediately you said I should raise my hand to receive the power. Automatically something was dragging inside my system. I saw as if I am a scratching. So, and since then, wait, you said you, before wait, you asked you me yourself. to demonstrate, I've already been checking myself to know if what? it really show it except again and he didn't yes and i made a prayer when i came in here i said this is my third time of being in this church that the god of again and again would never let me go alone that if the spirit that is the life of my bishop Oyedepo, and in the life of these two men that i see let me go back with testimony yes and indeed god gave me. and i'm speaking before god and man there's no lie if i lie let it continue but if i say the truth as it is in my mind that the covenant i have with god here let it be permanent this healing thank you god Come this side. <laughs> you, you said that when you had pain there, that she she said that something. The truth of it is that my stepbrother died last two months, and yes. the failure was on tent. After that day, my stepmother declared that he gave me and my family thirty days to die. 
if my hand is not in it. And I said, I will do my traditional wedding exactly a month of that day, which is the 30 days. And I forced myself, I went in faith. On that day, it was a success. Tomorrow, next tomorrow, I leave to Abba. When I go to my place, this cover, something that I covered, fell inside my cloth. Yes. On killing it, since that particular moment, till now, God bear me a witness. I don't do things like this. People say it's a pneumonia. People call it ulcer. And I say it before God and man, the drugs prescribed is in my phone, but I have not bought them. That is the only thing I present to God since I came in here. And since I was dancing, I was been dragging myself. I can't bend the way. But immediately said I should raise my hand to receive the power. My inside my stomach me see walked as if something was dragging. Yes. And I started checking myself before you said I should check. God in heaven, this is me, and I'm saying my heart. That means there is no pen there. There's no pen. There's no pen there. No pen. You down. You down. Put your oil in my hand. Father, two dimension prayer. You will not die. Anyone that did grave for you, the same person will enter into it. I cry against that person by the word of life and immortality. Yes, sir. And whatever that you receive, your healing is permanent. Amen. It's permanent. It's amen. permanent. Amen. Can we shout a big amen? Amen. Somebody jam your hand together. You just may be sitting this up. Jam your hand together. Yes. Praise God. Praise Master Jesus. Hallelujah. For the past two years, I've been carrying this pain. Yes. Uh, this very sharp pain on my chest. After my final year exam, it was really a tug of war. Since then, I was having this terrible pain. Sometimes I find it very difficult to take breath. Cannot breathe very well. Even when I will sleep, when I wake up in the morning, I'll discover that the pain, I'll be nice to even raise the shoulder. I yes, find it very raise difficult. the shoulder. I find it very difficult to raise the shoulder. So when the man of God said there's somebody that have pain and the person is finding it difficult to raise the, the hand, I know that it's me. I am not that kind of person that normally comes out. I've never come out with such something like this before. But the Lord touched me and told me with a very soft voice, say I've healed you. Can you raise your Can you raise that yourself? Somebody jam your hand together. Come this way. When he keep on saying that somebody you show that you're here. Yes. Father, thank you because the healing is permanent. Amen. His healing is permanent. Amen. In Jesus' name. Can you breathe through your mouth? Do can you can you? Yeah. Somebody jam your hand together, it's done. Praise the Lord. Yes. Uh, by name Stephen Dibby. Uh, since February 2nd, I've been in pain of breathing. I don't breathe oh, normal. Breathing. Yeah, I don't breathe normal. So I've been, been with doctors, taking drugs or whatever here and there. So was, when they start this program, my brother asked me to come. He said, okay. So since yesterday, I'll, I'll be here. Uh, yeah. So. When the pastor was praying, say you should touch whatever you know that is you are having pain. <laughs> so I have to touch. Even the the air, air condition it scared me to sit where, where I was. So I said, okay, let me endure. At this hour now, I pray the breathing is over. Come, 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 come. Hallelujah. That is that is much. That, that is too much. God of life and immortality. Heskeli Nadraba. Rekatoloba. The healing is permanent. The handwriting of ordinances of infirmity is broken. In the mighty name of Jesus. Can amen. somebody shout a big amen? Amen. Somebody jump your hand together for Jesus. Zion. Zion. 
going to two months now, I've been having stomach ache. If I take drugs, it will stop and it will come again. So even when I came here this evening, I was still feeling the same pain. I told my, my sister that this stomach ache has started again. But immediately he started praying and he said you should raise up our hands and lay it whenever you are having pain. I did so and now I cannot feel the pain again. It's over. Somebody jam your hands. I Jesus. back there that collapsed when I was praying. At the back there. You're having something in your hair or something. Around the, the back there. Somebody, somebody fell when I was praying. Yes, come, yes. Because you know I saw you. Well, I don't have time this night. But that means you know this is. <laughs> Tell us what happened. A sharp cry. You said. A sharp cry. You. A sharp cry. Something left my forehead, and a crown came in. Something left your forehead. Yes. Come close. When I, when I was there watching you and you were struggling with the encounter of God, I know there were two spirits. There is this, God wanted to do something for you and the devil was saying, don't take it. So when I was ministering and I saw you, I was laughing in my heart and I was praying for you. And that is why you say something left to your forehead. It is new down. It's for you. New down here. I just came for you. Your story will never remain the same. Are you a member of Zion? You're wearing uniform. Shani no tobala taraba. Sidulubri his shapra tulabana. Teli karaba. Laria kobodo basana. Zili brova. I rebuke your spirit. Now, with the power of the anointing. Your story is ended in our life. I came to end your activities. Can't you understand? So I release fire. I release fire.